Uh, oh my. Oh my. Uh, that's okay. <coughs> anyway, I think. Uh, um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see who is around. Let me see who is around. Hi. You're Hi. good. Yeah. Yes. To go Bible study here. What? No brain. <laughs> um. All right. <clears throat> Let me tell you guys here that we are on. Hi, <coughs> right, man. Kwa hivyo na manisha watu wali 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 kuto kukutulewa. They take money. They they this was a they mint money from people <laughs> from innocent people. They mint people. Hi Kibet, welcome. Oh, it's still connected. <clears throat> it was minting. Minting money from people. Mm. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. I can see you. Hi. 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 How are you? Good. I would tilt your. Uh, like... Ah, okay. Oh, you guys are upside down. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> and your number one. Like I mean, mean yeah. I had two because when they say, you know what happened. Ah. Yeah. Ah, that's that's nice. I can also see Vincent. Vincent, put on your mic and uh, your video. Kenya at good, good. Put on your video as well. Ah, nice, nice. How are you, Vincent? I am. Let me put it this way. I'm doing well. Uh, so here with my family. So the young boy may be a bit jittery, but I will tune in and listen. Some things I'll turn off. But good to join you guys. No problem. You're most welcome. Welcome, welcome. We're waiting for the others to join us. Maybe in a. The next uh, five minutes or so, or three, I don't know. Uh, at least yeah. we have a good uh, crowd. Meanwhile, you yeah. can tell us, where, where are you from? So I am from Eldoret. You're from Eldoret, huh? Eldoret, Kenya, yeah. Ah, nice, nice. God bless you. God bless you. We, we are so much happy. Yeah, I, think, I think I saw the link from the group. That, oh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, from the groups. Yeah, yeah we, we, all, we always uh, do a Bible study every Wednesday, Wednesday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday uh, from nine. Uh, okay. Basically, just speaking about salvation and, you know, the gospel and many other topics. So it's nice to see you around. Yeah, good to see you too. Thank you. Thank you. Regina, uh -huh. how was your day? Great, and you? We have been okay. We have been okay. Say hi to the visitor. He's called Salim. Hey, you can say mm -hmm. hi. Hi, oh, Salim. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Ah. Last time we missed you, we didn't see you around. Yeah, last week, last on Wednesday. Eh, unani andikia sa angap sa satan on dio na join. You know, actually, I had to, when you're alone with kids, Yeah, you have to manage or know how to manage some things. Yeah, it's true, by the way. Mm. Yeah, well, once in a while. Sissy, today we have mm. just been here discussing, discussing a few things. This friend of mine came uh -huh. to visit. So he said, watch her to, because he's also a, a, a great person like me. Yeah? Uh, oh. let's, let's discuss and also make it a bit more nice. So... We are hoping oh. it's going to be a blessing. Karibu sana. Karibu sana, Sante. Salim. Sante. <laughs> let me check, let me um, be, uh, say about our group that we are on. Eh? They also join. Uh, tell them to Was join. Alicia I, sana. I just need like uh, three more people and we can get starting. The rest okay. can find us to Kiendeleanga. So that we don't take much time. Oh, okay. Much time, yes? Uh, Let me see, let me see. Uh -huh. Anyway, let, let's let's hold on, Kiasi. Otherwise, um I, I, I thank God because one, one thing I've realized is that it's somehow God God is raising a katim. Eh? <laughs> oh your audio is eh? my audio is 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 not good. 
Yeah. Uh, let me check. Let me check. Uh, let me let me confirm. Just give me a bit. Just. Yo. Mm -hmm. I can I can I can hear the audio, unless. Oh yeah. Okay. Unless maybe it says, it's, it's, I think it was just having some issues. Oh, no, it's, no, okay. it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Ah, okay, okay, okay. That's yeah. nice. That's nice. Uh, yeah, I was saying like God is trying okay. to raise a, a katim at end times, huh? uh -huh. whereby people really want to understand the truth by themselves. I discovered people you know, are up and down lost and they, they mm. really ask themselves, mm. what are we going to do? We need the truth, but it's very rare to find the truth. Actually, yes. it's also very important to get a Bible for yourself because if you don't, mm. uh, at the end of the day, very, very soon, even these apps that you use will be off. They'll be gone. They'll be gone within one click of a mouse. <laughs> Zitatolewa. Okay. And I think that's why uh, society nowadays, <laughs> the governments nowadays, they are trying to, you know, wanna emphasize on online a lot. Mbaka uone. Ata, ata Bible should be like up. So that when it's ikizimwa, it will be all in all. Andrea, how are you? Your house is like going. Hey. <laughs> Hi, I'm not in the house. So, um, Oh, we'll only hear the voice, huh? Hey, hey. Oh, you're, 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 you're saying no video today. We'll just hear the voice. <laughs> how, will I, how will I put it? Nimeshindwa. Nisa, tusha elewa. When someone is mahali non-videoable. Okay. But at least una tuona, right? Uh, I a video on finya po ka video. Kunaoka button ka video apo. Can you see it? Ah, uh, let me try. Yo, yo button ni mian kwa video apo. Just uh, press it up, up or down if you can see it. Okay. You, you're seeing it? There's a ka video icon. Just continue. I'm 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 searching for it here. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. So I think, guys, we should get started. While I'm in order to find, uh, oh, to but two minutes. Wanted we start at nine ten. Just to put in two more minutes. There's also a friend of mine called Francis. Niko ataka kuwe asikose. Kuni mulize ni nini anafanya asituweke sana. Ah, awesome. Now the video is on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the video is on. Let me call this friend of mine, Mambia Natueka. I want him to be here also. Mm. Oh, Leo Koinje Andrea. Uko kwa street. Aha, uwa chukwe simu, but uh, I, I know he'll be joining us in just a bit. So, um, I think we should get started. It's about time. So now, um we'll be speaking about how to know that you're saved this is a a bit rather confusing topic because uh, many people once they they get saved they don't know if i am saved or i'm not saved sometimes it's con confusing and uh, you find yourself come on mimi uh, back in the days i was always asking myself am i really saved or am not am i not saved i don't understand if i'm moving the right way if i'm Doing the right thing. Uh, Vincent, can you hear us? I can see your both mic and video off. I don't know if you can hear. Yes, I, I can. I can hear you very well, sir. Okay. Okay. Great. 
Now, uh, I was explaining that um, back in the days, I used to have this kind of feeling whereby you feel, am I really saved or am I not? Especially when people talk about, you know, the end times, Jesus is coming, uh, things like that. You get so much scared and you ask yourself, what is it that I've not done? Because I need to do in case maybe it's a certain prayer. Can I pray that prayer again? Can, have I given enough in the church? Have I done uh, things as a ministry enough? Have I done this and that? So it was all about me, 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 nini nisi jafanya so that I can be saved or to confirm if I'm saved. But the moment I discovered the gospel of grace, and uh, that it is not because of anything that you do. It is purely because of what Jesus has done. And you trusting in him, it got me all differently because sometimes we get confused and we ask ourselves, what is it that you have not done? Not forgetting that the Bible tells us it is not of our works that you are saved. So we just need to trust. Now, before I start, I like to say that uh, being saved is like someone who is being married, like being married or marrying. There's no way you can say, I'm not really sure. The moment you signed that paper and said, I do, and you agreed and you wore that ring, you are 100% sure that you're married. Whether and things are not really working out well, you definitely know that I am married. And as well, getting born, there's no way that you can say, I'm not really sure that I was born. I'm a Sijawaiku were born. Like, am I really sure or not if I was born? Now, these two examples, they are very uh, efficient in telling us exactly if you can know that you're saved or not. Because being married, remember we are married to Christ. We are actually exposed to Christ. We'll be married to Christ very, very soon. So that one already tells us one thing, that Okay, soon and very soon, the... we will be officially married. Right now, we're engaged to Christ. And also being born, we know we are born again. There's no way that you're going to say that you're not. Now, I want us to go to the book of 1 John 5.13. 1 John 5.13. Uh, it tells us something here. 1 John 5.13. It says... These things I have written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that you may know, that you may know that you have eternal life, and that you may believe on the name of the Son of God. So these things, which things? The Bible. This whole Bible is written so that we may know that we have eternal life, and that we may that we may believe on uh, that we may believe on the name of the Son of God. So there are some things which have been written for us that we may have a surety and we may know absolutely that you are a child of God. And I want us also to go to First Timothy two four. First uh, Timothy two four. First Timothy two four. Lynette, welcome. I can see you. First Timothy 2, 4. Uh, the Bible says, um, Who will have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. So there's some knowledge that you need to have so that you can be saved. There's some knowledge of the truth. The Bible tells us that the truth is found in Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So if you want to know the truth, you must know Jesus. And the truth in Jesus is all it's all uh, centered on what he did for us. So God wants us to, uh, to be saved uh -huh. by all men coming to the knowledge of the truth, the knowledge of Jesus Christ. And when you know Jesus Christ, you'll be able to understand uh, that you're saved and you cannot lose your salvation. Uh, also, let's go to 2 Timothy 3.15. Uh, 2 Timothy 3.15, it says, uh, 2 Timothy 3.15, sorry, uh, it says, and that from a child you have known the Holy Scriptures, from a child you have known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make the wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. So, basically what you're saying here is that the Holy Scriptures are able to make you wise unto salvation. 
you see, wisdom does not come by the knowledge of the things of this world. It does not come from general stuff. Wisdom does not come from uh, how much we understand the things of, uh, you know, church and givings and, you know, helping the poor. Wisdom does not come from that. It comes from the, 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 the Holy Scriptures. So from the Bible, we're able to understand several things, which will give us wisdom to know the truth of salvation. So once we know the truth of salvation, we will be able to be converted and we will know for sure that if I die today, I am going to heaven. And the reason I'm saying this is because there are so many people who have half-baked truths. We call them half-baked truths. Why? Because kunazile truth is in Napata is like uh, there are some things that you're entitled so much to go and do, especially in most of our Pentecostal churches. They tell you that uh, well, brother, ni kama sukoni's church with yanguka. Kuna vitu ufanyi, atukuonange kwa, you know, atukuoni, atuoni bahasha yako ya kutoa, atuoni nini. It's as if Lianguka because there are some things that you did not do. You see, some of the churches that we go nowadays, they try to make you receive salvation from what you do. It's nothing like that. Because kuna post ni kwa nimeweka kwa Facebook, eh? If you stood one on one with Jesus Christ, you have just died and you stood with him one on one and he asks you, why should I lead him to heaven? What are you going to tell him? Kuna ingina atamuambia Jesus, unajua mini li attend kanisa all through, unajua mini li toa tithe, unajua ni likuwa mzee wa kanisa, unajua mimi ni likuwa nafanya hii, unajua God pia mimi siku, hakuna siku yote ni nafanya mtu, hakuna siku ni liiba. Those are purely very good things but you're missing the main point. He will tell you, no, go away. I don't even know you. Why? Because Jesus told us one thing. It's all about what he did, not about what you have done. And if you believe that you'll be said by what you have done, then you're on the wrong path. You definitely have to understand, what is it that Jesus did for me to give me the salvation? What is it exactly that uh, he, he gave me or he did for me, which has given me salvation. He died on the cross for me so that he can give me salvation. And that's what I'm leaning on. God akikuangalia from heaven, anaona the, 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 anaona the picture of his son, Jesus Christ. He doesn't see you because we have something called Christ's imputed righteousness. He has imputed on us. Nikama ametuvalisha nguo ingine juu. Ametuvalisha nguo juu. Now, we are there uh, because God, anytime he looks at us, he doesn't see the me. He doesn't see Keith. He doesn't see me because my body is full of sin. I am full of, uh, I'm a carnal person. I am a liar. I am this and this. That is according to my flesh. But still inside me, there's something called the new creature. The new creature has already been changed by Jesus Christ, by God. And it, it has been cut off according to Colossians 2.11. We have been cut off. The body of the sin of the flesh, it may cut on a meko candle. And we are new persons, okay? Let's go also, uh, go to the book of Luke 176. Luke 176. 176. Luke 176. Inasema, and thou, child, shall be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways. Now, this is uh, uh, talking about um, John the Baptist, what he will go and do. Listen to this. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest. Who is the highest? Jesus is the highest, okay? For thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation, Knowledge of salvation. Now, again, the word knowledge comes again. Knowledge of salvation. Uh, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high has visited us, and so forth. So he's going to give the knowledge of salvation. So where is this knowledge that uh, John the Baptist is going to give? The knowledge is in the scriptures. The knowledge is in the word of God. It's not in 
in, in some place that we go and pick is not in the things that we do. Knowledge of salvation is not in confession. Leo nilikuwa na cheka nigeambia Salim that some guys came uh, at my doorstep today to come and, uh, you know, ah, to a door to door. And they are there preaching and they're telling me, hey, uh, are you saved? Nikwambia, yes, I'm saved. Do you, which church do you go? Nikwambia, me, I don't even go to church. Uh, I, I gather with my friends at home and we, I know why? Nikwambia, because of one thing, nili, nilienda and some, the church that I was going, nikapata, they are really teaching something which I, it's not biblical and I don't understand. And there's nobody to ask because Niliuliza pastor and he don't want to talk to me and tell me uh, why this one is like this and the Bible is saying this. Because the Bible says, examine all things, you know, prove all things. And uh, we should be like the, the Bereans. What are Bereans? The Bereans, Paul alikuwa naenda na preach kitu, wanasema, jioni yo yoto anakaa, Paul alituambia hivi. Na check, is it true? Uh, yo ni ukweli? Is it true? Yo ni ukweli? Yo ni... But today's churches, they don't want that. And those guys, after a menu, Lizaia, you said, why don't you go? Nika Liza, one thing. Fine. Let's leave all this story. How is someone saved? They started telling me, oh, you confess. Now, Liza, what do you confess? Because you must be confessing something. Oh, confess your sins. And Nikambia, honestly speaking, you guys, you need also to get saved. Because first of all, salvation is not by confessing. It's not by mouth. You remember when Jesus talked and said something that these people draw nigh to me. They draw near to me by their lips. But their heart is far from me. Jesus does not want your lip service. He doesn't want this. He wants you to believe from the heart. Because it's from the heart that a man believes unto salvation. That is the book of Romans. That is from the heart that you believe. And even Apostle Paul says, I believed, therefore I have spoken. You believe, therefore speak. The moment you believe, you have spoken to God. Now, Salim, take for instance, uh, someone is deaf and dumb. Does it mean that person will go, not go to heaven because he cannot speak, he cannot confess? What happens in such kind of cases? You know, one, one of the things is that, uh, uh, you know, the word of God, when the word of God has been spoken, mm -hmm. and uh, as much as someone is deaf and dumb, I, I believe God speaks us in very many ways. Mm. He speaks to us in many ways. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whatever place you are, how you are mm -hmm. uh, physically. Mm -hmm. What I know is that even by the spirit of God, you can be able now to find the truth mm -hmm. that that like what i told you mm -hmm. that the truth has been concealed it is a matter of you seeking it so even when you're blind mm -hmm. the truth will still find you so it's mm -hmm. all from the heart so it's when these guys heart. believe from their hearts mm -hmm. from their hearts they have spoken they, they don't need to open they, their they mouth need, they don't need to open their mouth or I, I think that's mm -hmm. exactly what was also in my mind because mm -hmm. number one i was i was asking myself mm -hmm. huh? If a deaf and dumb person cannot speak, cannot hear, how are they going to believe? Does it mean all deaf and deaf and dumb people are going to hell? Mm. No, it's not possible because it is from the heart. The moment they believe from the heart, even if they cannot speak, God has heard that. They have spoken from their hearts. And uh, it's very important to understand this because when you fall in love with someone, you don't go and tell them, hey, so-and-so, I love you. And then now you start loving them. No, you first love them from your heart and then you go and confess what you're feeling. Mm -hmm. The same way, when you love Jesus, you first love him from your heart, you understand, and you cannot love someone kama hauja muelewa. You love someone because you love their character, you love the way they talk, you love the way they do a certain thing. There's a certain thing that you have understood. Sindio? Mm -hmm. Unaelewa. So you hear about them, unaona yule anaitwa Jen, ama anaitwa Masi. Una mmemsikia na umemtafuta mahali huko wewe umemuona mahali, umemuona character yake, umemuunderstand vile ana behave, si ndio? Mm -hmm. You hear first about the person, you understand them, and after that you believe in your heart that you love them, and now you go there and tell them, "Hey Jen, hey Masi, I love you. This is how I feel." And that's exactly what it is all about when we come to salvation. So it is all about first hearing, understanding, and believing, which gives us salvation. 
So let's go uh, to the next point. So what is it that you must know? There's something that you must know before you get saved. You must know that number one, you are lost. Without knowing that you're lost, then there's no way you can be able to be saved without understanding that you're lost. Because mtuambaya uh, nataka salvation, you are saved from where? From getting lost. So unless you understand that, hey, by the way, from the look of things, mimi niko lost. Mimi niko inje kabisa. You can never get salvation. But the moment you wake up and understand, eh, hey, by the way, I've been lost. Nimefanya vitu zote zile mbaya sana. I've done this and that. And uh, even if ujafanya vitu mbaya, you realize that you have the sin of Adam. That's the time that you'll realize and tell yourself, enye, I need a recap of my mind. I need to change something in my life. And then the moment you realize you're lost, the next thing that you, you have to do is you look for the truth. When you know you are lost, the next thing is look for the truth. And uh, badenia salvation na kujanga, the moment you mesoma verse, you know, without the law, without the word, the scriptures, you can never know that you're lost. Without the constitution, you can never know what is sin. Sindio? Kama constitution na hiko, ni kama, for example, uh, in it nini, if you go to Tanzania, Tanzania people don't, are not allowed to chew mira. But uh, ukitoka hapa Kenya, Kenya people are allowed to chew mira. And then you go to Tanzania and then you start chewing mira there. Bila uh, we kuambio that mira is bad, you'll not have known that it is a sin. But ukepewa your constitution, usome one, eh, no chewing of mira in Tanzania, you'll be jailed. Now you have known the sin. You have known, you have come to the knowledge of sin. Mm -hmm. For by the law yes. is the knowledge of sin. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. Mm -hmm. So the moment you got into the law, into mm -hmm. the book, into the scriptures here, back in, 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 in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. you understood what sin mm -hmm. is. That's why there are 613 laws in the Bible mm -hmm. to tell you what sin looks like. Mm -hmm. The moment you have known what sin looks like, unangale mm unasema, -hmm. 613 laws, siyezi toboa, isini mingi sana, what am I going to do? then God gives you an option and akwambia, you either fulfill all these things or achana nazo zote and you follow Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So when you follow Jesus Christ, is going to give you atakwambia achana na yo vitu zote umeko kifanya. Achana na hizi laws zote. You cannot fulfill the law. Because the Bible says, Christ is the end of the law mm -hmm. to all those who believe. Mm -hmm. So it tells you, forget the law, come here mm -hmm. and I'll give you salvation. Mm -hmm. That's exactly how it, it is all about. Mm -hmm. So salvation is not by works, but by faith. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can confirm that in Ephesians 2, 8, 9. This is a very famous verse. Everybody almost knows it. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 2, 8, 9. Mm. Ephesians 2, 8, 9. It says, For by grace you are saved through faith, mm -hmm. and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. So it is by grace that you're saved. It's not because of anything that you did. When I was getting saved, I, I, I had not done anything that made me to be saved. Sikuwa na ati option fulani ati nasema ati juya nilifanya hii yama nilifanya hile. That's why nimekuwa saved. Z. It's God who saved you by grace. Alikwekea hii, akakwekea hii, akakwekea hii. Unaenda mali fulani, mali kubaya, unasikia pana, ondoka hapo, wapana, unasikia all those kind of... It's by grace that he put all the blocks and all the things to try and bring you close until you are saved by faith. So alikwekea traps. Nika alikwekea trap moja hapo kuonyesha pana hiyo ni mbaya, hiyo ni mbaya. Until the day you said, I better believe on this guy. The moment you believed on him through the grace ambayo alikupitisha. Grace ni kama getting what you don't deserve. You don't deserve to go on this path of righteousness. But God anakupeleka, anakupeleka, anakupeleka. Unafakusha luzika kabisa mpotea. But it takes you on another path. And then through that path of grace, you bring in faith. When you believe that for sure enye hii mambo yote, God amenpitisha hapa for a will, then now you are able to be uh, saved. And then one thing that you have to understand is that what makes us to be, um, the, the evidence of salvation is good works. Now this one, many people would say, oh no, it's not of works, no. Let me explain. The evidence of salvation is good works. There's no way you'll be saved and leave the old person. You become a new creature. Zile vitu ambazo luko nafanya, zina kutoka, 
zile vitu ambazo ulikuwa na enjoy na kutoka and things like that and so forth so you become a different person so you have evidence of uh, deeds of righteousness ndio and things like that so there is another verse here in nibambanga sana inaitwa Titus 3:5 uh, let's check out on it Titus 3:5 Regina are we together you're still good Lynette Seems you can hear me um, I can hear you Kate Ah okay good good great Ah yeah. now in uh, Titus 3:5 it says uh, not by works of righteousness is not by works of righteousness which we have done but according to his mercy he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the holy ghost the holy ghost why why are we being told that the holy ghost is being renewed is because the moment you are born you are born with a dead spirit you are three parts body soul and spirit the spirit died a long time ago when adam sinned so you already have a dead spirit but now when you get saved the renewing of the holy spirit comes alive the holy spirit comes alive alive in you and we are told is not of works of righteousness it's not because nilifanya kitu mzuri ama nini which you have done but according to his mercy he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the holy ghost so that one is self explanatory let's come to romans 4:5 romans 4:5 romans 45 it says but to him that worketh not but believeth on him that justifies the ungodly his faith is counted for righteousness him that worketh not if you don't work but you believe on him now work does not mean kwenda job asubuhi it means if there is nothing that you're doing like unasema nitafanya hii ndio nipate salvation nitaingia mbinguni by na kifua si ndio work ni ile nitaingia mbinguni na kifua kuna vitu nimefanya god nimetoa tithe nimefanya kazi nimejenga kanisa nimefanya if you don't work and you believe and you believe on him that justifies the ungodly who justifies the ungodly jesus christ his faith is counted for righteousness that faith of believing you believing you unafanya without working your faith is counted for righteousness but check up on bele even as david also described the blessedness of the man unto whom god imputed righteousness without work saying blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered so this guy who justifies everyone he will cover your sins and that's why tunaambiangwa we have the christ imputed righteousness ana to cover ana cover sins zetu zote si ndio unapata wewe ni msesina lakini juu umevaa Christ so god akikuangalia na una shine but you shine with your own glory una shine na glory ya Christ so he will cover you and so forth okay na hata hapo juu number 4 verse 4 inasema now to him that worketh his reward is not reckoned of grace but of debt if you decide okay i'm going to work then your reward will be of debt it will not be a true reward because by works you can never be saved let's go to uh, galatians 2:16 galatians 2:16 galatians 2:16 inasema knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law but by the faith of jesus christ even we have believed in jesus christ that we might be justified by the faith of christ and not by the works of the law for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified by the works of the law so akuna mtu atakuwa justified because of doing good things because there are 613 laws so if you say nitafanya hizi laws zote utafanya gani na wache gani because every day we are sinning you're doing this you're doing that you're lasting over things you're stealing you're uh, doing there are many things that you're doing every day which zingine honestly sio wewe kutaka umeshikwa na mtu na polisi hujavaa mask polisi amekuambia unaenda ndani 6 months ama utupeane 200 honestly uko confused ni peane 200 yenyewe ama nifanyaje juu unajipata umesema tu acha ni peane 200 hata you see so left right and center we are sinning 
So, but then the Bible tells us it's not because of our good works that we get saved. It's by doing what God has told us, and that is believing. Okay. So, faith in what? We need to believe. What do we believe in? We have talked about believing so much. The Bible tells us in Romans 10, 17, that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The more we hear, we hear, we hear, we hear the word of God, the more believing comes in. So what are we basically hearing? What should we put our, our, our faith in? What should we put our faith in? We put our faith in the gospel. And I've always spoken about the gospel so many times, but I'll go back again there. In uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. In Asema, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel. So Paul is telling us, this is the gospel that I'm declaring to you. Which I preached unto you, which you received and wherein you stand. So Paul is saying, this is the same gospel that I was preaching to you. I'm just reminding you the gospel, Okay by which also you are saved. So this is the gospel which saves you. There is an assurity that this is the gospel which saves you, by which also you are saved, if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you believed in vain. So why is he saying that you keep in memory what I preached? Because if you don't know your certificate, your queen, your mahali, or your key, because the key of you entering in heaven is who you believed. If you don't know who you believe, then it means you don't even have salvation. Because salvation, you have to understand and believe. The moment you understand, it comes to your heart. And when it comes to your heart, believing is from the heart. So for you, you have to uh, do something which is keep in memory. Something which is in memory, Nikitu may understand. You can never memorize something you have not understood. Sindio. You have to memorize something, and once you memorize it, then it comes to your heart. That's why Paul is saying, you have to keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you believed in vain. Believing in vain is believing in yourself, believing in vanity, okay. things that you cannot be able to explain. You're believing uh, that nilitoa sadaka, nilifanya hii, nilikuwa mzee wa kanisa, nilikuwa this. You know, you believe in things that you do. Kama Catholic, they believe that nilikuwa baptized. They believe I've done this and that. They believe several things that they believe. No, those things are called vain. Believing in vain. That's where the word vanity comes from. Believing in yourself or your own work. Now verse 3, Nasema, For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received. How? Now look at that word. How that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Now, how did Jesus die? He died by shedding his blood on the cross. The Bible in Asema, without shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. If Jesus could have died of heart attack, died of drowning in water, died of electrocution, could there be salvation? No. Why? Because... There is no blood which is shed. There have to be blood which has been shed so that there can be forgiveness of sins. Why? Because the Bible tells us in Leviticus 11, 17, that uh, uh, the life of the flesh is in the blood. And I have given you the blood to make atonement for your souls. What is atonement? Atonement is basically to make at one meant, to be made at one back again to God. We were separated from God because of sin. But the blood is making us to be at one with, the, with God. And that's why blood has always been a major issue of controversy among us Christians. Kunala nasema, no, just pray this, repeat these words. Mungine sema hivi, apana, sinas prayer, apana, we fanya hivi, eh, siju peana, siju baptize you, siju. They don't want to believe the blood. And remember what the Bible says, Paul ametuambia several times. In the last days, people will have a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. Where is the power? The power is found in the blood. So they will refuse the power in the blood and they will go on vanity, on things that they, you know, nafilivi, nafilivi, they'll go for vanity and they'll deny the power. Why is the blood important? The first person who ever shed blood was God. The first person to shed blood was God. How did he shed blood? When Adam and Eve sinned, God killed an animal and clothed their sin. 
akawavalisha nguo so that animal ambayo iliuliwa it shed blood so god was the first one who gave us an example and told us when you sin this is how you're going to clothe sin through blood through death of something because something has to die because wherever they sin there must be death and of course it kind of level and the trend went on na mpaka mahali god alifika mahali akaona hapana let me just send jesus my son to come here and die and become a lamb because as what ilikuwa ni kusacrifice una sacrifice una sacrifice and sin is not going because the blood of bulls and goats can never you know uh, take away its sin mm-hmm. so it had to be a more powerful blood that's why when jesus was coming to be baptized what happened john the baptist alimona kikuja kazama behold the lamb of god who takes away the sin of the world behold and yule the lamb why was he calling him the lamb because he was to be sacrificed and shed his blood na jesus alipo shed blood yake akaenda nayo to the mercy seat and he poured it in the altar we have an altar in heaven also called the mercy seat and uh, the rest is history right now we just have to believe in what he did actually Right now everybody has already been forgiven their sins even Hitler alikuwa ameforgiveiwa it's only that maybe if if he believed or not now what we are told is just believe on what Jesus said what he did for us that's why Jesus kwa cross alipo alipokufa alisema it is finished what was finished he has already done the work he has done all the forgiving he has done all the cleansing of sin the only thing which is making people not go to heaven is because they have never believed They have never believed that it was done. Umelipiwa nyumba lakini unashindia. Oh, siko sure kama hiyo nyumba by the way umelipa. Eh, uko sure lilipia. So wende tu kwa bank wende usign paper useme I have accepted. But you keep on say as ni siko sure wezi nilipia hao. Hai mimi utanilipiaje nyumba until your house is auctioned. Now you lose everything. Just because you did not believe. That's exactly what happening. So ukuliza watu why don't you get saved? Ah uh, unajua mimi ya siezi eh nini and people will go to hell just because of something small believing au itishwe pesa au itishwe nini au itishwe your time au itishwe anything just because of believing you see how simple the gospel is and the gospel has five folds i've spoken about this last time it's all about how christ died number one, christ died if you believe that christ died it means you believe that jesus God the, uh, the son came to earth as man and he died Christ died for our sins if you believe Jesus died for our sins then he didn't die for nothing he died for a purpose and the purpose was you this one puts you in the equation number three, was buried if you believe that Jesus was buried then you believe that he took your sins to the grave na kaziwacha hapo he became the unleavened bread for you he took your sin for you and left them at the grave number three, Uh, number four, he rose again if you believe that jesus rose again then he rose by the power of the holy spirit and the same holy spirit is the one who will rise you on that day so you believe in god the holy spirit and finally according to the scriptures why the scriptures were written by god they were inspired by god the father so it means you also believe god the father so you believe god the father god the son god the holy spirit and you believe all this was done for you uh, when you believe that That's absolutely what gets you saved. Because the Bible says uh, in Romans uh, 3:25 that in whom God has set for to be a propitiation through faith in his blood. So once you believe in the blood of Jesus that that blood was not for nothing it was shed for me. The blood ya Yesu nyele ilikuwa inamwagika should have been mine inamwagika but he shed his blood for me then you're saved, okay? 2 Corinthians 6:2 <clears throat> Yeah. Second Corinthians 6:2 it says Second Corinthians 6:2 it says for he, he he for he said I have had thee in a time accepted and in the day of salvation have I uh, scored thee behold now is the accepted time behold now is the day of salvation you see many people say it okay next week what can digest what can fanya ni it's all about believing All you need to do is repent. Repent. Repentance means metanoia. Metanoia in 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 uh, in the Hebrew, sio ni Hebrew ama ni ni Greek. Ni Hebrew eh. Metanoia. Metanoia means a change of mind. When you hear somebody tell you repent, it basically means 
change your mind from what you trusted, from the things from unbelief to belief. That's all about repentance. Change your mind. That's why we are told that once we, we become Christians, we, we, we believe, we, have, we become a new creature because we have a new mind, a new heart new thoughts, new everything. We are thinking differently. We are looking, the way we look on Angalia TV, when I enjoy some funny, funny stuff, you no longer feel it that way. You feel it in a different way. And you're like, wow, I used to see things that, heresy, 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 wongo, wongo, naona, ni ukweli, ni wongo, the way I could not see Kitambo, Kitambo likuwa naenda tunashindia, oh, glory, glory, anoint me. But later on, when you get saved, you start seeing things differently. I'm sure Tasalim, there are so many times you look on a checky vitu, you end up church, kitambo, unge DCV, unge danganyo. But when you got saved, una check him, say, I can the statement to Shamuana. Because God gives you the spirit of discernment, Sindio. Una power the spirit of discernment. You start seeing things in a different way. Okay? So the reason people doubt salvation is because most probably they are trusting their works instead of what Jesus did. Don't trust your works. Don't trust things. Na mi ni meskia hii so much in my life that I I used to fear and tell myself, oh God, I kikuja, have I done enough? Ile maombi ni liomba poa. Ama kuna sentensi kusema vizuri. Ama kuna kakitu fulani. Sijui nini ni si understand. Until I knew it's all about trusting what Jesus done. So now, let's go to John, the book of John, 1935. John 1935. John 19:35 inasema you there John 19:35 for those who have a bible <clears throat> it says and he that saw it bear record and his record is true and he knows that uh, and, and he knoweth that he saith true that you might believe when you na bear record is who Jesus he is true and what he says is true. So akikwambia, you will get saved if you believe the gospel. He is true. And what he says is true. Iyo ni assurity. Unambiwa assurity ni adze. Mi na kuambia, na kuashua. Mi mwenyewe sidanganyangi. Because the Bible says that God, God is true. And let God be true and every man uh, a liar. And God, uh, he, he means what he says and he does not repent. He does not repent. That means he does not change his mind from what he has said. So he is true. And you can bear that word and tell him, God, you said you're true. And that if I believe the gospel, I will be saved. And not if I believe my things. John 20, 31. John 20, 31. Apo tumbele. 20, 31. Inasema hivi. But these are written that you might believe that Jesus is Christ, the Son of God. And that believing you might have life through his name. Easy if it was what is meandikwa, so that you may believe that Jesus is Christ. Christ means what? The anointed one. Easy if it was what is Goko Bible, meandikwa, so that you may know that Jesus is the anointed one. And he is true in what he's saying, and that you might have life through his name. All right. Let's continue. Romans 10, 15, 17. Romans 10, 15, 17. Inasema hivi. 10, 15, 17. Uh, actually, tuanzi hapo number 13. Romans 10, 13. I'm sure most people know this verse. For with the heart... Nianzi uh, hapo nianzi hapo. Nine. Wacha nianzi nine. If you shall confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe on thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. If you believe in your heart that, uh, I mean, if you confess with your mouth, <clears throat> but you know confession comes when? After you have already understood and believed. Okay? And you believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. For with the heart a man believes unto righteousness. From the heart a man believes into righteousness. And with the mouth confession is made. You confess what you have felt in your heart. God will die for my sins. This, this is what I feel, and I confess it. Number verse 11. For the scripture said, Whosoever believes on him shall not be ashamed. If you believe on him, you will not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord uh, over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Uh, verse 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. 
Now look at verse 14. It's very important to understand this because what on Afikanga Apo, verse 14 says, but then how shall they call on him whom they have not believed? How will you speak and say, Jesus, I want to confess that you are my Lord and uh, me save, and you have not even believed. How will you confess and you have not believed? You see? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? You definitely have to hear something before you believe and before you confess. What are you hearing? The gospel. Okay? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Yani, utasikiaje bila mtu akwambie? You must have someone akwambie or somewhere God akurevealia kulete some people. Now akwambie by the this is the gospel. This is how you will be saved, okay? And how shall they preach except they be sent? Now here is where the false prophets come in. Watu wengine wanajituma. Wengine wanasema oh nini ni wana confuse watu. And that's why people have false salvation in churches today. They have false conversions. Unapata mtu ameishi church all their years but they have never heard the gospel being preached one day. All that they hear is Moses akafanya the blessing of Abraham, Isaiah, Enoch, Jesus. Especially when you go to a church and they are always preaching Old Testament. Be mindful careful of that church because any these people are preaching the old testament more than the new mm-hmm. then there's something wrong na pia kuna wengine they preach more the the gospels mm-hmm. the first um, you know john matthew mark and luke mm-hmm. a lot more than the 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 the, the, the nini of paul let's eh? mm-hmm. nini the letters of paul because our doctrine today comes from the book of romans to philemon that is our doctrine today because the bible tells us in romans uh, 10 13 paul he says that in as much as i'm the apostle to uh, the gentiles i magnify my office he's the apostle to the gentiles and he says in uh, romans uh, 2 2 16 romans 2 16 paul and asemaivi in the day when god shall judge the secrets of men by jesus christ according to my gospel he says the gospel that Paul is preaching is the one that God will nini, judge the whole world. Mm-hmm. So which gospel is he preaching? The gospel of death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. You see to the Jews, walikuwa gospel ingine. Jesus was preaching to the Jews. The Bible says he came but unto the law. He came only to the lost sheep of Israel. Mm-hmm. And Jesus was preaching what? I am the Messiah. Mm-hmm. I am the promised Messiah. Believe in me. Mm-hmm. And I will establish the kingdom of heaven right here and i lead you as your messiah mm-hmm. but wakamua and the kingdom of heaven was postponed to the millennial time mm-hmm. right now we don't have the kingdom of heaven we have the kingdom of god which is righteousness peace and joy in the holy spirit mm-hmm. right now we are in the kingdom of god which is spiritual mm-hmm. until that time rapture happen mm-hmm. then we come back to the kingdom of heaven where jesus will rule in israel in the seat in the throne of his father david so jesus himself was preaching about the kingdom of heaven which was a literal kingdom here so that is the gospel of the kingdom is not the gospel which paul is preaching paul is preaching about what jesus did for us the death burial and resurrection of jesus jesus himself and the apostle peter and the other people during that time before jesus died they were all preaching one thing which is who Jesus is as the Messiah. Mm-hmm. So you have to be very careful when you hear people telling you a lot of, you know, uh, Jesus is the Messiah, then you must know there's something wrong because the Bible tells us that we will be judged according to the gospel of Paul. Mm-hmm. And the gospel of Paul, in Galatians, let's just check there. Paul in Galatians chapter one, verses 11. And I say, but I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me, Ian Aita, my gospel, is not after man. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. You remember Paul, Alika, the desert of Arabia for 14 years. God akim revealia, Jesus akim revealia the gospel that how I died for your sins and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And he came back again and he started preaching that gospel. And of course, kwa Bible hapa ina explain, uh, honor, he came back again and found the, uh, the apostles preaching the old gospel. Ambayo likuwa ni about the kingdom. And what did he tell them? Mm-hmm. Chapter 2 verse 1, Galatians. In the summer, then 14 years after I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas and took Titus with me also. After 14 years, 
I went up by revelation and communicated unto them that gospel which I preach among the Gentiles, mm -hmm. okay? But privately to them which were of reputation, lest by any means I should run and had run in vain. Mm -hmm. So, akakuja kwambia, by the way, nime revealio the true gospel of this dispensation. Mm -hmm. Now, the true gospel right now is the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. You guys, stop preaching this other gospel, which is all about who Jesus is. Because Peter was preaching, Jesus is the Messiah, undio muliua. So believe in him as the Messiah. That was a message to the Jews. And that's why Paul Mwenye alizushiana na Peter. Kamuambia, hey Peter, pana, you'll be judged. He goes, well, una preach. Mm. Look, unaeza shangali mzushia wapi? Ina, indio hapa hivi. Inasemwa, uh, oh, sorry, niko Romans. Wacha nifungwe hiko. Uh, Galatians. Galatians. Paul, Paul asimamana na Peter. Verse, Galatians 2, verses... Uh, Verses 11, 2 verse 11. But when Peter was come to Antioch, I, was, I withstood him to the face because he was to be blamed. What was he to be blamed about? Teaching another gospel, teaching something which is different, teaching about Jesus is the Messiah, which is for the Jews and not what we are supposed to have right now. Okay. So now let's continue. Uh, the Bible says in Isaiah 53 verses 4, Isaiah 53 verses 4 in Asema. Isaiah 53 4. Um, Isaiah 53 verse 4 in Asema. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did uh, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with the stripes we are healed. So Jesus, already up with him, Isaiah had to explain here what he would do for us. Mm -hmm. Exactly about what he did, not who he is. Mm -hmm. You see, the gospel which is being preached. Uh, to end the up with Missouri and uh, Romans 3.24. Romans 3:24 Romans 3:24 in Asema mm -hmm. being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood mm -hmm. to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of God mm -hmm. so we are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. So now, as we wind up, eh, let's check something else here. Can we be assured of salvation? How can we be assured of salvation? Okay. The assurity that we have is in 1 Thessalonians 1.5. Let's go there. 1 Thessalonians 1.5. Uh, in Asema, 1 Thessalonians 1.5. 1 Thessalonians 1.5. In Asema, for our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Ghost, and in much assurance, as you know what manner of men were among you, uh, we were among you for your sake. Our gospel came not only in word only. The gospel did not come in word only. It also came in power and in the Holy Ghost. So this gospel has power and the Holy Ghost in it. That's why the moment unasomanga the Bible, unasikia revelation flani imekuja, unasikia ime change, unasikia this and that, and you wonder and ask yourself, how? How comes? How comes me reveliwa ikitu? You know, the Bible is the only book that you cannot be able to read and say, usomeka kitabu ingine. The Bible you cannot read it like any other book. Ukisoma, things are revealing. They are coming up in different ways. Why? Because it's coming with the Holy Spirit as well. Mm -hmm. And with much assurance, anytime you read, you feel God has spoken uh, to you. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, let's go to, to Hebrews 10, 12. Hebrews 10, 12. In Asema, uh, 12 to 14. But this man after he had offered one sacrifice, talking about Jesus, by this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. So Jesus alipo offer a sacrifice yake once. He did not over, uh, offer the, the sacrifice over and over. He offered once. Unona hii ingine ilikuanga 
kila siku unaenda ku sacrifice ka animal ka animal ka animal but now we see that Jesus was offered once exactly once and after that he sat on the right hand of God the Father from henceforth expecting till enemies uh, from henceforth expecting till his enemies are made his footstool for by one offering one skiza one offering he has perfected forever them that are sanctified so one offering you are perfected forever so you are not saved over and over again ukukange over and over again unokuka once so once you are saved and once you cleanse and that's it and there is no backsliding there is no nini na nini okay i think you ni mpaka verse 14 let me check if i have uh, one uh, two more verses here 2 Timothy 1:9 Second Timothy 1:9 Second Timothy mm, Second Timothy 1 verses 9 to 12 Inasema Who has saved us Second Timothy 1:9 Yes okay uh, who has saved us and called us with an holy calling not according to our works we are called unto a holy calling not according to our works but according to his own purpose and grace which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began but he is now made manifest by the appearing of our savior Jesus Christ who has abolished death and has fought life uh, and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel so through the gospel we get light whereunto i am appointed a preacher and an apostle and a teacher of the gentiles for the which cause i also suffer these things nevertheless i am not ashamed for i know whom i have believed and i'm persuaded that he is able to keep that which i have committed unto him unto that day so god is able to keep what he has promised he has promised eternal life the moment you believe he gives you eternal life and paul says i know who am i i have believed Mwenye nime believe is not just no more human being. Ni mtu ambaye ana keep his word. I know who I have believed. And I'm persuaded, I am very sure that the one that I have believed who is Jesus Christ, he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Ataweka, your salvation is not kept by you. It is kept by God himself. That's why you cannot lose your salvation and that's why you get a surety of your salvation because he is keeping the salvation for you. So, as we finish, let's go back to ile verse tulianzia mwanzo, which says in 1 John 5:13, These things I have written unto you, the things that I've given you a surety here, which God has given us here. And to ambia these things have written unto you that believe on the name of the son of god that you may know you may know that you have eternal life if you don't read the bible then you'll never know that you have eternal life you'll always fear and that's why the bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god the more you hear the word of god the bible you read the bible you read that's the time that you get unaendelea kupata ile assurity unaona god anasema hivi aya kwa hivyo ni sure unaona hii eh kumbe hapa ni promise eh kumbe ni but if you don't read the word of god what happens you keep on going back na unasikia ni kona distance sana na god eh ni kama siko sure yesu akakuja na ezaenda ama siezi enda but the moment you keep on reading the word of god faith comes it comes by hearing and hearing and hearing the more you hear the more you get uh, to be linked up more and you keep on knowing that for sure 100% i know i am saved because i believe the gospel so i think uh, that's exactly what i was talking about maybe salim and as as we wind up also yeah, i think you can go back to what you've just shared the verse that you've spoken about mm-hmm. faith comes by hearing Mm-hmm. and hearing by the word of god mm-hmm. the original version says that faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing mm-hmm. and hearing and it is a continuous thing yeah so it it is something that we have to keep on doing keep mm-hmm. on seeking keep on searching mm-hmm. keep on uh, scrutinizing about it so that we can find the truth about 
everything, the entirety of the gospel. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it is proper to realize that we cannot lose our salvation mm -hmm. and we will never lose it. No matter how much hell comes our way, we, we can never go about to lose our salvation. And uh, the death, uh, the death, uh, basically the crucifixion, the death and the resurrection of, of Christ mm -hmm. is, is, is an indication to make us realize that that our salvation, number one, was bought at a price, and number two, it is something that it is in us right now. Mm -hmm. I was telling Keith uh, about uh, some few hours ago that uh, uh, we are, Christ lives in us. He lives in us, and he's not living in us in, in his bodily form, but uh, in, 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 in um, basically him being re reincarnated, he, he lives in us by the power of the Holy Spirit. That is how we get to know that Christ lives in us. Mm -hmm. So I think we, with all these, how, how to get saved and all that, we, we have the salvation that is through Jesus Christ by faith, and we will never lose it. Thank all right. You. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Now, I uh, wanted to scare a couple of comments here on uh, today's um, whatever understanding. Doreen, Doreen, can you hear me? Uh, as Doreen comes in place, Re Regina, able to ambia what uh, you've learned from that? You can hear me. Uh, put, put on your mic. Put on your mic. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, now? yeah. Now, now I can hear you. Yes. Okay. Sorry. I think what. Um, I picked is that salvation one is not by works and the only thing that uh, one needs to do is once you're born again you've given yourself um, to Christ you've accepted Christ um, as a savior as your savior and to know that you can do anything to earn that it's by grace then now you just have to you know um, I like what, uh, what you asked at the beginning. Does it mean that the dumb and the deaf, really, I mean, won't go to heaven or cannot be saved because they yeah. can't confess? Because I think what you're told is that, uh, you know, you keep on confessing that, that, uh, that Christ is your, is your savior. Well, in as much as we do that, that, that means that it is actually by the grace of God that we are saved. Mm -hmm. It's not because we confess, it's not because we, I mean, utter those words, it's not because we keep on telling everybody or giving the 10 minutes testimonies. I think for me, what has really stood out is the grace of God um, mm. in, in, in our lives. The grace of God that, I, that is actually the one that, you know, saves us. And I think I've taken a number of verses here that I'm, I'm going to go and dig deeper after, after this. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for that. Lynette, uh, you can put on your mic if you can hear me and uh, tell us what uh, you've understood. Okay. Thank you, Kate. I have picked a number of things from the Bible study, but I think what I learned new today is that we can never lose our salvation. I never knew that. Yeah. Uh, well, thank God, I I just learned that today, yeah. and um, the the verse that we read Romans three, I think twenty four, twenty three or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh -huh. twenty four. Yeah, it's good to learn that we justified really freely through God's grace. Yes. Oh, you're talking about Galatians. Galatians uh, two, two something. It's, it's two what? Uh, you three twenty-four. Oh, Romans. Yeah, kuna ile ingine bado ya ya isti. Oh yeah, ile ile ya he that worketh. Cindy, eh? You're talking about that. No, I think it, it, Romans uh, three twenty-four. That we given as a free gift of God's grace. Is that mm -hmm. maybe that's mm -hmm. what she's saying? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. 
Ah, awesome, awesome. Uh huh. Just, just go on. Yeah. Yes, I've been talking so many things, but uh, those two are outstanding, and I, I thank God for the chance to join you today. I wasn't able to join Wednesday's Bible study. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of revelations uh, in today's Bible study. So thanks. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. I, I I look to seeing you on Monday and Wednesday and Friday. At least try as much as you can. I know, of course, we are all busy in different things, but uh, one thing the Bible is is that seek ye the kingdom of God first, you know. I'm not saying that we don't do other things, but one thing that I know is that when you put God first and you, you know, would you fungulier that I want to learn the things of God? you're definitely going to know him because nani salim you're telling me about uh illa story um the the the, the people wale anaitwa wana god eh? the, the, you know they they seek niko unasema aje that uh, seek call is not really about the calling it's about the there's something that you said uh you know one of the things that people don't get to know is that uh uh being be, being a pastor or anything it is not even a calling it is a desire it is a desire, desire. it is a, a desire yes it is a, it is a desire paul says if anyone desires to be a bishop a mm. pastor or whoever desires a noble task yes that is a task that you desire yes. it is not a calling you can't tell me that uh, you god has called you to be a preacher god has called you to be no- Th- those are desired positions it's like today i want to be the president of this country it's a desire I want to lead these people and it comes from the aspect of of being a leader and all that yeah. but all those things they are giftings of god so also in this context mm-hmm. is uh, if you desire to know the truth mm-hmm. you will find the truth you will find it uh i've given my story so many times but one thing i like to say is all this time i never desired to understand the truth but the moment i desired and i said i want to know the gospel for sure it will come mm-hmm. and uh, i really thank you linette also for showing up uh, around this time you can tell as many other people who also have a desire one thing i like um, i i said about the bible study i will try as much as we can to first have a series of understanding the gospel you see this one thing which is really neglected if if you know about moses elijah and all those people and you don't know the gospel if jesus comes today you'll go to hell but at least if you know the gospel in depth and you understand it perfectly even if you don't know anything else in the bible you are assured of salvation yeah, you see that's mm. that's good at least yes you understand what really yeah. matters why did jesus have to die for us why did this have to happen the things that we we rarely hear from these modern churches we try and do a bible study on the same even on Monday, I'll be speaking still more about the gospel and understanding in depth and understanding different other aspects of the gospel so that you may, at the end of the day, then now as we go to the other peripherals also, okay? Doreen, can you hear us? You can open your mic if you're there and you can give us a comment. Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, be, be, be a bit loud, Kidogo, or maybe Caribbean mic. Be a bit loud, Doreen. Uh, can you hear me clearly now? Yes, we can. Is that okay? Yes, yes. Yes. Um, I joined the study late, but no. um, mm. I'm grateful. Yeah, I've learned a few things um, towards the end of the discussion. Mm-hmm. And I think mostly one thing that I never knew before is that salvation is a gift. Mm. I've always viewed it as a, as a, as perhaps a desire to to learn and know God more. Yeah. But viewing it now as a gift. Mm-hmm. Uh, it gives me a, a greater like a greater definition of exactly what I got into when I decided to be saved. Yeah. And I've also uh, learned that you grow in salvation by having uh, the desire to to know more about God and understand 
his grace beyond what uh, what people really understand and we understand the grace of god by learning more about his word yeah um i'm happy that i joined today thank you oh thank you thank you looking forward to seeing you uh, on monday as well we'll be having some really really other impactful stuff so guys i'm really really thankful Thank you so much for showing up. Uh, as we finish, by that, we'll answer Bila prayers. I don't know what it is. Our words. Where is Ali Matoku Kumbushi? Dorin, Nani, I mean, uh, Regina, at least to Malizia na Maombi. This one, you'll answer now to, to Malizia, Sasa, at least. To Rushe Ju, to Ki Malizia. Uh, we're waiting for you. Pray, pray for us as we finish. You, you can hear me, Regina. Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's me. You're hey, okay. It's, it's you. Let's it's you. Nimesema. Oh, nimeta ya Dorin pia pole. Nimesema Dorin, so I was waiting. Oh, for ah, sa sa. Ligwa na sema juu wengine tu lianzia na e. Okay. Yeah, just Let's pray. Yeah. Okay. Let's pray. Let's pray. Father, I come before you this evening. I want to thank you, Lord, for guiding us throughout the study, Jehovah King. Thank you, Lord, that you've been with us. Thank you, Lord, because you've seen the desires in our hearts, O oh God, to even know the word, your word more, O oh God, and the Bible more, Jehovah King. I pray that, Lord, you're going to bless us. You're going to lift us, O oh God. You lift our hearts, O oh King of Kings, to be able to understand your word, O oh Jehovah Lord. I want to thank you, God, because of the, the people that are here, as few as we are, Lord, we've been able to get a revelation of your word. I know, God, each and every one of us has left here with something new, God, that they have learned today. Father, I pray that you're going to give uh, all of us who got that design in spirit, Lord, that we can be able to understand your word even deeper and more, O oh Lord. Jesus, I want to thank you because it's not by uh, works, O oh Lord, that we are saved. It's not by works, O oh King of Kings, that we stand in our salvation, but it is because of your grace, O oh Lord, that, Father, you saved us and you've sustained us. Lord, may you continue to sustain us even as we speak the true word of God, that, Lord, we can be able to be voices, king of kings, to tell um, the world, O oh God, of, of, your of, of your grace, O oh Lord, that is sufficient and free for all of us. I want to thank you, Lord, as we disperse now, and as we plan, God, to meet next week, I pray that, Lord, we may clear our calendars, you may help us, O oh King of Kings, purpose, and desire to attend this, O oh God, that we can be able to learn more. I want to thank you, Lord, because I know this uh, may look small now, but Lord, I know that where two or three are gathered in your name, God, you're with, there, with us there, and Lord, you're going to even enlarge this uh, platform, King of Kings, that we can be able to have more joining us. I want to thank you, and I pray that as we disperse, you may be with us until we meet again, Lord, we give you all the glory and honor in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you. So you guys have a good, good, good night. Now, na case person don't have to join. Just say hi to us. Case <laughs> person, just say hi to us. Although, see to Malisa. If you can hear us, you can just. Hi, everyone. Yes. Hi. Hello. Mm. Sorry for joining late. <laughs> no problem. Next time, at least from um, uh, nine, we'll be here. Are, are you also in our group, our WhatsApp group? Yes. You're in our WhatsApp group here, or yeah, Bible study. It's it's a written Bible study. Yes, yeah, Bible study, no. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, just uh, okay. Just just write write me on the chat your number, and then I can add you just right away. Just type up of one in here, and then I add you so that uh, to support you next time. Because from I will not be able to see. Just write me your number at the chat. Okay, okay. Guys, hold on. Kidowa Dakamoja. We have one of us here. That is a who? Regina Kirimi Doreen Arama Kate Mwoki. Kate, Kate, Kate. All right, all right. Uh, uh, 
Sawa sawa. I'll be adding you to the group in just uh, a bit. So guys, have a blessed time. Salimia neni uko manyumbani. Sawa. Cheers. Bye. 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 Bye.